what is going on people we welcome you to the 2020 art supplies video from the Ogano art family channel it is time for evolution so in today's video you know i'm going to be showing you guys the updates on the 2020 art supplies what i use now currently in in, in the past i've done uh, 2019 and, and 2018 art supply videos of, of what i use then and you know as the years go go on i'm, I'm going to keep updating testing out and I'm going to be more comfortable with certain art art supplies or art tools that I use, you know. So to start off, this is a pencil. I don't use this pencil for drawing. Uh, this is actually uh, something I use whenever I I want to like jot down notes or I don't want to like waste lead in my uh, mechanical pencil. So the reason why I I personally prefer to use uh, the mechanical pencil is because this has a much more this is more thin. This has a thin lead compared to this this one here. So this one is like a zero, 0 0.5. And you know, at the same time, it really doesn't matter. You can you can make work with with a normal pencil, or you can make work with with this one. But I I, I say that I I just feel more comfortable with uh, this mechanical pen or, or yeah pencil. You know, I feel more comfortable with that. And this this brand is called the. Uh, the the, the uh, Kuru the Kuru Toga if you can see that Kuru Toga right there so this is the brand that I use whenever I want to just you know just draw so so yeah and this this pencil this pencil I prefer to use this for whenever I do figure drawing and uh, or gesture drawing so this is a lot more comfortable compared to this and I believe they they usually call this a, a drafting pen or a, a drafting pencil I mean so they usually call this a drafting pencil and this is usually what I use whenever I do uh, figure drawings I should probably get to that more and I should probably get into doing that more and so if we were to like move on to the to the erasers uh, now these two erasers are they're different you know an eraser is an eraser at the end of the day but I'll, I'll explain some of the differences so this one, I, I use this more a lot compared to this. So this one, it's a lot more, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit more soft. Yeah, it's a bit more soft uh, with a little bit of, a little bit of hardness, but it's a little bit soft. This one is very tough. It's a lot of muscle to this, you know? And the reason why a lot of people tend to like this more is because that it's, it, you don't have to put much, a lot of pressure. You know, even even right here, it's advertising itself to be a uh, light touch plastic eraser, and it even has a huge words of light. And it's just like, you know, you don't have to like really press hard. If you do press hard, you're, you're gonna smudge the the paper. And so, uh, I like to use I like to use both, but I mainly use this. Uh, intuitively, I tend to to press very hard whenever I erase. I should probably like get out of that habit or train myself out of that habit. You know. But uh, but yeah, these are pretty much the, the differences between these. So for the Sakura, the Sakura Microns, except for this, we'll get to that later. But for the Sakura Microns, they usually come in, in, in a set of, of nine. So they go to, they go from zero, 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 five to zero, eight. Okay, so right here, you get to actually see how these are how these are categorized. These two are zero zero fives. I tend to use that a lot for my backgrounds, and these do well again for backgrounds. Uh, they they do they do, and since I do use them a lot, I tend to order like more of zero zero five or or zero zero one zero zero five and zero one are usually the ones I use a lot, you know, and this pen right here this is a zero one uh i think i think the, i think this is a multi-liner brand this is like a competitor for secure micron i just wanted to test out this brand to just to see if like it's better or or just to see if it's like more better than the zero one for the secure microns but it, it turns out it, it's pretty much the same it, it, to at least to me, what I what I've seen, it just it's just pretty much the same. Uh, it's not much of a difference, you know. So you can you can use whatever whatever pens you want, but I do recommend 
if you desire if you're starting out to get like a like a set and it usually comes in like more 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 of these you know because again i think I, I said like it comes in six or, or nine sets so you have different uh uh lengths when it comes to uh, uh the pen stroke and so this is a click eraser the 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 mono the tombro tom tom tombo yeah tombo uh mono zero and this is the the the, uh, the the rectangular version um and again this is a click eraser so when you click it's it goes up um i definitely this looks like it does need to be refilled so i'll definitely refill this and i do have the refills of those and they're right they're right here so this like this white part you can see there's a long white part so this is the refill and these other ones that you see here are my refills for the the pencil lead here for my mechanical pencil so yeah i'm definitely not running out anytime soon you know and these right here are my uh rulers or this this is a french curve this is actually a french curve this is a ruler you know so i usually use these uh, drawing tools whenever i'm uh, for example for this i use this for like buildings or any straight lines that i see for this i usually i use i use this for like a uh, curve action lines so these are amazing tools this ruler is definitely uh i can't even see the numbers anymore it's, it's definitely worn out so these are awesome and this is this is a brush tool this is a brush pen that i use for whenever i'm uh, drawing but i don't i don't really know i forgot the brand name but you know i don't use them anymore because i found some a better some like replacements for these which i'm going to show you so these are the replacements yeah these are the replacements right here uh this one is called uh, the pentel and what i love about the pentel is that it leaves a uh, uh, a splashy a splashy brush stroke so i'm gonna show you that right now i have a few of them right here so again it leaves like a like a, a splash in the brush in the in the brush stroke you know so that's why i like using this over or these and at the same time these aren't these aren't refillable this is refillable so i even have like a refill right here whenever this runs out so that's also amazing i like to use a lot of uh, a lot of uh, refills you know refill type of uh, type of art supplies these this is like a a wide out a wide out pen you know this is great for whenever you, if you make a mistake with your inking you can always you know white out your mistakes and one two three gone uh sometimes people use this for for highlights but i usually use this to to erase uh to just to erase mistakes but yeah you can use this for highlights as well you can use this like implement it into your artwork mm, this this is a g pen i don't usually use this a lot i usually uh, have these because it's much quicker but at the same time this the g pen is great for for it's much has a much more refined line like the, the line work is much it, it, it's much stronger it's much darker and it doesn't fade easy when you erase compared to to these yeah it doesn't fade easy but at the same time what i like this what i like about this is that it's much faster and if i do want to to improve the or darken the line work i can just add an adjustment layer on photoshop you know just do some photoshop magic just to like uh just to darken up the lines uh i usually i usually like to use this for 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 dialogue for dialogue bubbles you know that's what i love to use these for and also i forgot one point uh for my panels for my panels i like to use i like to use like uh zero eight so this this is zero eight but you can't see it because like it's faded like the the mark is like it just fit i i've definitely overused this 
but it's fading but this is 08 so 08 is a very thick it's, yeah it's very thick so that's why i like to use whenever i'm uh, doing my panels and also the leader six the the, the leader six is also great for your for your g pen i like to this is actually water this is the real ink so this water here uh i like to just whenever my 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 ink is a bit dry when i'm drawing i like to dip it in water just to to to, to last to make the, the ink last a bit longer before i dip back into the ink so i don't recommend having a small one a small uh, uh water dipper i recommend you get like something this size you know I, i'm using i'm using all the tools to my advantage like everything but yeah just you can just get a, a small uh, a bigger a bigger container of water you dip it in and then you know you work your you work your inking magic you know and these this is something i wanted to like test out but i never really like i guess i i never really like it just it just faded away the, the inspiration to like really like test it out kind of just faded away maybe i'll do it like later on in this and today but uh these these are two these are two amazing inks the the leader ink and the the the, the super black uh, in india ink you know uh i tried to like test out to see if one of them was like better than the other which one was uh was uh darker or or whatever they they to me they pretty much work the same way you know they, they're pretty much they pretty much feel the same but i can't really uh say because I, I haven't used this a lot so but from from a surface level face value analysis it works the same you know this this is actually uh something like a uh oh yeah i forgot to also mention so what G Pen is to the leader, this the, these speedball nibs are to the the India ink, and this, I think this is this like this small nib will do great for for drawing uh, uh, detailed backgrounds or small details that you want drawn in the background. But you know, again, I don't really use these as as much. And these are my uh, G Pen replacements. This is my, uh, this is a hard drive, and this is like a WD Elements hard drive. It costs around like $80. Uh, I think this is like uh, two two terabytes or so. So it's always great if you, so it's always great whenever I'm like editing videos or whenever I'm doing like like art videos or, you know, just, just doing editing or doing some heavy, heavy, anything with heavy files. You know, yeah, and anything with heavy files, I like to work here from the from the hard drive as opposed to my to my computer, you know. And it's also great for for backup, you know, in case you know a blackout happens and I don't know your computer won't turn on or something. That sounds horrifying. These are usually some things uh, highlights that I use for my notes. So whenever I want to take notes on something, I like to have these highlights. You know, this is it just points things out more clearly compared to like reading out things that are just that just have no color you know it makes me memorize things easier oh yeah and i forgot to talk about these so so these are the again these are uh tom tom bow brush pens uh you can really use any brush pen that you want really it doesn't it doesn't matter too much but these are tom bro i found them on amazon they, they look cool you know so i just ordered them there. <laughs> So these are this is this is pretty much uh, one of these are like a hard tip and another one is a soft tip. Uh, it's not really that noticeable unless you like really like look into the the differences, you know. But on on a surface level or on a casual level, they work. Uh, they look pretty much the same, you know. And this like these would be like a replacement for what I used to use this for, and the Pentel would be a replacement as to what I used to use this brush pen for. And also, I think I forgot to like mention this, but these these tools, these tools are usually great for like lettering. I don't use this for manga at all. 
um, this is uh, this is just great for like uh, I guess like le like traditional lettering or graphic design work. I, I usually just do do my lettering and all that stuff like online or or, or on the, like Illustrator is it's much more feels more comfortable. But I'm, I just bought these just in case. I felt like testing them or, or trying them out. But I do my lettering in in, uh, in Illustrator. But you know this, this I don't use this for, for manga at all. And this is usually this usually comes in like these sets so this is like the, the speedball the speedball set you know whenever you're like uh for for lettering you know there's also one for cartooning i haven't really tried out yet all right so the best supply here is the the leader b4 paper i like this because it's pretty huge and we'll move on to the topic markers so these copy markers are the the, the seventy the seventy two uh, D colors. Uh, I I've ordered several other colors that uh, that don't come along with the seventy two D colors just so I can have access to those uh, other colors. You know. So for example, these are all the other col colors that were like separately ordered. Uh, this is what a, a copy marker refill looks like. I'll probably have a tutorial on, on how to refill your copy markers. Uh, but yeah. And there's also this, this, uh, this uh, colorless blender. I'm not really too sure how to use it, but I ordered it just in case because I know I'm going to be using it in the future as I advance in my copy marker uh, studies. And this is the... No, this is like a copic marker uh, skin tone set so if you're interested in drawing and uh, drawing like several different skin tones there's a copic marker skin tone set uh, and I'm sure it's available on uh, on Amazon this is where I bought mine's at and this is my Julian tablet so this is the Julian tablet it comes in in this this is like a, a pen a pen a pen holder right there so this is what i use and i got this Julian tablet i'm definitely gonna have a review on this uh much much uh i'll, I'll make a review on this later on in the future of the Julian tablet and so this is my razor for when, whenever i start to grow a man beard for for staying indoors for too long but phillips razor one blade it's an awesome razor I definitely recommend it. Uh, works great. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, so, yeah, if, if you have any, uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have any uh, uh, recommend recommendations or anything that you want to see on the channel, feel free to leave so in the comments down below. And that will be all. Peace.